farmstead. We love to forage for our own food. It's great when we can find something in our own backyard that is going to not only feed our family, but it's also going to feed our animals too. Chickweed is a great example of a perfect permaculture forage food. This chickweed is like a permaculturist dream come true. It provides a ground cover for our plants so that they remain healthy and secure and they don't dry out because there's a nice blanket over the soil. And one of the other benefits is it's edible for us and our animals. All right, let's take some chickweed. Move over. The camera can't see right through you. There you go. Chickweed, chickweed, chickweed for our animals. Let's see what they think. All right, you're going to give some to these guys? Yep. <laughs> Let's see what they... I thought I just reached them in a bowl. Yes. All right, let's close the lid so that they don't fly out. These guys fly really easy. Um, all your birds fly easy. Yeah. Anyone? Is anyone going to eat it? I think they're afraid to eat while we're here, so we're going to leave. So once we are done harvesting kale and cabbage and all of that good stuff that we have growing in these beds, we're actually going to pull the chicken tractors down here and run them over these beds so that they can eat all that yummy chickweed they will love it. We've done this in numerous occasions in other gardens and it has been a perfect way to incorporate our chickens into our gardens. So not only is chickweed really great for your garden from a permaculture standpoint, but it is also really good for yourself. It is full of vitamins and minerals. It's one of the most nutritious foods there is. You can eat it raw in a salad as its own salad. You can have it added to soups or quiches or just stir fry it like you would collard greens. One of the things to note is that the stem part of the chickweed has a tendency to be pretty fibrous. So it is good to cut that through if you're going to um, eat it. And you can also make a tincture from an oil or alcohol tincture to use it medicinally because it has a lot of great health benefits. It can also be made into a poultice and applied to um, bug bites, uh, rashes, eczema, anything like that. It's going to help uh, the inflammation. It's really good for inflammation when, when you eat it as well as when you apply it on the outside of something. We can be pretty easily identified. There aren't too many lookalikes. And this flower right here, it's a 10 petal flower. And then if you can see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you see that row of hairs along one side of the stem? That is, you see that right there? That is another identifying characteristic. It'll have a row of hair growing along one side of the stem. And another thing to note is that when you break it open, it does not milk. If you see milky sap coming out of the stem, it is not chickweed. Don't eat it. And if you don't see this hair along one side of the stem, uh, that means it's not chickweed either. So those are the two things that you have to look for when you're trying to make a positive ID on this weed. I'm actually going to harvest some of this chickweed for a lunchtime treat. Now I am a avoiding any other little weeds that are growing up in it. Um, this is also an edible weed, but it's not as flavorful. Well, I guess not flavorful. What I was going to say about chickweed's flavor is it's very mild. It's kind of like, almost like spinach. So anyway, I'm going to one-handed, <laughs> it'd be better to do this with two hands. I'm just going to give it a haircut like that and harvest my chickweed for a yummy lunch salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some more of that with two hands, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is 
to harvest and it will regrow from where I cut it. I hope everybody enjoyed the information I provided you with today. I hope that you get some use from it. Go out and pick some chickweed. Enjoy it. If you do like our channel, give us a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and subscribe so you won't miss any new episodes.